Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. What's up, guys? Welcome to a new video, and this one is going to be on a topic that I think it's about time for me to revisit, and that is going to be what I think to be the top five offenses at this point in the year in Madden 18. Now, disclaimer, this list is going to be in no particular order, but we are going to start it off with what will probably end up being the most likely candidate for this list, and that is going to be the Gun Bunch scheme out of the West Coast playbook. And not even just the Gun Bunch scheme, but just the West Coast playbook in general, you're going to see probably about half the field in the Madden Ultimate League running this playbook, and for good reason. You know, it has the best Gun Bunch in the game, has exclusive plays such as Dig HB Out and Mesh Post that are only in this playbook, along with other staples, you know, like Corner Strike, PA Post, it has Mesh with the deep corner route, the halfback draw, verticals so just a very versatile core scheme right there where you have six or seven plays and it's tough to find a formation that has that many usable plays that are so good and so that's really what sets this formation apart from you know other playbooks and other gun bunches and then branching out of the gun bunch if you want to stick with that three receiver you know one tight end one halfback personnel you can go down to the single back doubles north and have the halfback ace power and halfback pitch combo on the ground game and with you know a solid passing complement when and I think is slot corner and then you have the single back doubles flex which can be very good with the halfback dive halfback stretch combo you can motion over the left slot receiver to the right kind of get a single back wide trips look and try to run a stretch that way and then I think that formation actually has some very solid passing plays such as slot post and tight end post that I think can be very effective when schemed around correctly but even if you want to get out of that three receiver, one tight end, one halfback personnel, you can go kind of like the route that Tweez went where early in the year he was running a lot of single back spread. So that's four receivers and a halfback. Now he's kind of onto the strong close. So he runs, you know, a lot of halfback off tackle stutter goes. So you got a two back, one tight end, two receiver personnel. So just a very versatile playbook that can go in many different directions and it still be very good. So uh, that's kind of what separates it from the pack, and I think it is very deserving of a spot on this list. Now, this next scheme is going to be one that Problem really made pretty popular over the past few weeks, running it at the Madden Club Championship and now in the Madden Ultimate League. And that's really kind of this two tight end, single back, you know, ace personnel scheme that he's running out of the Green Bay Packers playbook uh, between really the trio formations of single back wing, single back ace slot, and single back deuce close. Now, he likes to run that single back wing, and I think that is probably the core of this scheme is getting that halfback dive halfback stretch combo on the ground and working and then kind of branching off of that so single back wing right here you can see uh, usually that fourth audible I kind of leave stock I don't lab this formation a ton so I'm sure you could find something to place for that audible but I usually find that the dive stretch combo on the ground and then tight end attack through the air is more than serviceable for a three play core out of this formation and then uh, branching out of this formation you go single back a slot which also has the dive stretch combo uh, you have Smash, which is a very good passing play. Uh, the way Problem likes to run it is Max Protect and then Fade the outside receiver. And there are other ways to run this play. And then you have a decent play action audible uh, where you can get a nice deep skinny post out of the slot, which can be good against, you know, if someone's running a Tampa 2 style defense to try and, you know, slow down the halfback stretch and contain the outsides, you can hit him deep down the middle with that deep post route. And then obviously single back deuce close is a formation that, you know, has been around for pretty much the entire year. Very popular. Once again, stretch wham combo now. Instead of the dive, you have the wham, but the same principle. And then very good passing options. You have PA Misdirection and Bench out of this playbook. And so PA Misdirection, I think, is a fantastic play. And you have you can attack the sideline with the corner. You have the backside post. And then you can get an amalgamation of you know different crossing routes underneath between the tight end on the shallow cross. You can drag the corner route. Uh, that's a popular setup. But just a very versatile formation. Obviously, deuce close. It's good for a reason. And I think this scheme has definitely risen through the ranks very, very rapidly. The third scheme is going to be trips tight end. And, and this is a scheme that you see out of either the Chargers or Patriots playbook. There's a lot of overlap, but a lot of guys seem to prefer the Chargers playbook. And really, you see guys like Chaos is going to run this in the Ultimate League. Um, Manu ran it in the Madden Club Championships along with Drag. So it's well represented in the community. And I, I think it's probably the second best passing offense behind what is gun bunch week out of the west coast playbook so definitely well represented in the community and definitely very very viable and it's just very versatile as you see right here the audibles i like to go with base are the inside zone 
PA slot corner, PA shot post, and then drive post. Uh, but this scheme is probably six, seven, maybe even eight plays deep. And so it's very adaptable depending on what your opponent likes to do on defense. So if your opponent runs, you know, a lot of cover fours, maybe you go with a halfback draw instead of an inside zone. If your opponent likes to run a lot of man-to-man, -man, maybe you go, you know, PA counter go that has, you know, double speed outs on both sides of the field instead of something like drive post. So depending on your opponent, I recommend thinking about your audibles and adjusting accordingly. But like I said, just a very deep scheme probably about seven or eight plays you know along with those six that i just mentioned right there you also have a plays like you know x spot and then just various different plays that it, you can generate a lot of unique route concepts out of this formation uh, between not only the stock plays but then motioning receivers over you can get a lot of different corner routes and post routes and you know even at like PA shot post, you can motion over the deep crossing route and get a pseudo corner route that's very effective. PA slot corner, you can, you know, motion over the corner route and get, you know, double post routes crossing over in the middle of the field. So a lot of different options, really, it's your, it's it's up to your imagination. It, the only thing that's going to limit your creativity out of this formation is basically yourself. So as long as this formation sticks with these plays and keeps getting these plays year to year, I think it'll always be a contender just because of the creativity it allows the offensive user. Now the fourth scheme is going to be single back tight slots and this isn't a formation that I run a ton of, uh, but it is a formation that you're going to see Stevie J run in the Ultimate League, uh, Matster ran it in the Madden Challenge, um, I don't know if you guys know Shakobi, he's a high ranked player on Xbox. Uh, he runs it a lot. He he beat me up a couple times early on in the year with it, and it, it's very effective. And it all starts with the halfback dive, halfback pitch combo. A lot a lot similar, you know, to those other schemes that start with the dive stretch. This is the same thing, except now it's dive pitch. And then you also have other popular plays such as HB wheel to supplement in the air, along with you know bench swap, which is great for either attacking the sidelines or you could you know motion over a corner route and get a post route. Uh, a lot of different creativity that you can throw in there uh, between those plays and getting different route concepts. And then also you have deep post, which I think is a pretty good play. So usually what I'll do is the four audibles will be dive, pitch, HB wheel, and bench swap, and then I'll come out in deep post. Now, like I said, this isn't a scheme that I run a lot of, but definitely still very effective. If your opponent can't stop the pitch, the pitch is definitely the play out of this formation that you want to build your scheme around, and that is the core of your formation. Um, if you see right off the bat your opponent is having trouble stopping the pitch uh you don't go away from the pitch that is the play that you want your to force your opponent to have to stop that is the play that this scheme is built around and if he can't stop the pitch then he's gonna have a lot of trouble slowing down this scheme so definitely i'd say build around the run game even though it's a three wide receiver one tight end one running back formation you want to build around the run game between the pitch dive and then open up the playbook from there the fifth and final is going to be a single back deuce close scheme. And now I talked about single back deuce close in the Packers, but they don't really have the full package. The full package, they don't have tight end angle. And that's kind of the piece that I think completes the package. So a playbook like the Eagles playbook I'm going to talk about right here. Uh, you can have that four play combo in your audibles between the wham stretch bench and PA misdirection and then you come out in tight end angle which is great for that corner route and then even the backside angle route by the tight end can be effective against you know some zone defenses and so that's kind of the five play scheme at a deuce close you have some other plays um FNB monster ran this at the 49ers club series where he was running PA post x cross and bombing people out of cover four so there's other supplemental kind of niche plays depending on what kind of defense your opponent likes to play but I think those five are really the core. And once again, it's just establishing how good of a run the Wham is in the stretch. Now, this is a scheme that's really been around since the beginning of the year. So a lot of people at this point do have defense for it. But um, it's still, I mean, it's, it's still around for a reason. Everybody's seen it 50 times, yet people still run it because it's good. And so I think it's, it deserves to be on this list. Uh, like I said, between the wham stretch and then PA misdirection, a great passing play, and then really attacking the sidelines between bench and tight end angle. Those corner routes, like I said, very quickly breaking if you have a receiver with 91 or more route running. Your opponent can have trouble stopping those corner routes depending on what kind of defense they're in. 
and it can really put them in a bind trying to defend you know runs not only to one side but especially the stretch since it's a symmetrical formation they have to defend a stretch left a stretch right they have to defend a wham up the middle and they have to defend the sidelines from all these corner routes and then also the middle of the field if you go into something like pa misdirection that has you know the deep post along with the shallow crosser from the tight end a lot of people like to drag the backside receiver so that creates a levels concept over the middle of the field so it really stretches your opponent's defense in all directions and they have to be able to defend and be very adaptable at the snap of the ball based on what play you're calling so definitely i think deserving of that final spot on this list but like i said no particular order although i think a lot of people would probably agree that the gun bunch out of the west coast playbook is probably number one but from there i think you can make arguments for all of them uh, and, and really from two to down to number five so hope you guys enjoy this video that's going to be it as always thank you so much for watching and until next time take it easy